All right, let's talk about shortline flying a little bit. Uh, the thing I like about shortline flying or 3D flying is that it gets you uh, connected with your rev. You're right on top of it. It's almost like you're almost handling the wings themselves. Uh, I love the 3D toss. And with the reflex, I've got a reflex double X, so it's got a lot of float characteristics. I like playing with that floating and sometimes I catch it, sometimes it just floats over my head and keeps going. Uh, a couple of my favorite things about short line flying is the lines are so short, it's very easy to take in and put out. I'm doing 30 foot lines today. The other thing is you can fly in very tight spaces. I'm right up against the buildings here, so it's a terrible place to fly, but let's try some 3D stuff. And it's easy to fly in, in, in crowded spaces, and, uh, uh, and I just like the float characteristics of the kite and, uh, and to play with that. Here's a little launch. We're asking about launches. So what I do is I'm left-handed, so I throw with my left hand. You know, my handles in my right hand, and I'm ready to grab them and fly with them. I guide the rev about at the center point, and I just throw it straight downwind. The reflex tends to float up, so let's see how the toss goes. Okay, so the trick with the toss is uh, I don't throw it too low and I don't throw it too hard. But you can start out hard. The shorter the lines, the easier it is to pick up that trick. And I love the float of the reflex. The other thing is you end up in an inversion. So you need to catch that hover and then fly it out of that. That's the trick with the toss is it typically ends up in an inverted position. I love 3D flying.